This is the new Princess Y85. It's powered by twin man V12 1900 horsepower engines, giving it a top speed of 31 to 33 yachts. But it's not just the performance that makes this boat rather unique, it's the interior. So let's jump on board and have a little look. Moving up from the stern platform, there is the crew quarters, which in itself is not at all shabby. And then these teak face steps lead up from the bathing platform. Taking a moment to have a look at the mooring gear. Up to the aft cockpit. Large teak table, wet bar in the corner. And again, those underlit teak face steps leading up to the flybridge. Let's go and have a quick look up there because any flybridge boat, as the name suggests, should have a suitably impressive flybridge. And this, for me, is one of the highlights of the boat. You've got a glass screen overlooking the stern, so you've got a sheltered area with freestanding teak furniture and a wonderful view of the wake. This rather lovely island sun pad which appears to be floating just off the deck at low level and then forward to the bar. Not many better places than that to enjoy your evening cocktail. A big dining table, multiple leaves, a little L-shaped chaise long next to the helm, twin helm seats, Looking up over the bow, yet more sun pads, and another little wraparound seat to starboard. The doors lead through from the cockpit into the main saloon. Again, low level furniture making the most of the light and views. Huge windows either side. A galley which can be closed off when needed or left open and a circular dining table right by the full height window for the most sociable dining experience with the views and then up into the bridge deck very much a professional vibe in here it's all hushed and dark and quiet and can be shut off from the entertaining deck and a little day heads tucked alongside it. So one of the nice features of the galley is you can have it open to the saloon or if you'd like a little more privacy for your guests, you don't have to see your lunch being made for you. The screen rises up So a stairwell leads down from just in front of the dining table to the accommodation deck and moving astern to the midship's master. Slightly softer edge to the styling, slightly rounded edges to all the bed, beautiful details of the leather, little curves shifting angles and edges to add a new level of detail to the princess interior. There's this little dressing area on the port side behind the bed with the bathroom on the starboard side. And of course the ubiquitous huge flat screen TV opposite the bed and then moving forward in the yacht, there's a corridor leading up to the bow. And on the starboard side, there's a very good sized twin with the beds that can slide together. And on the port side, a double, again, with its own big window, 
And of course, it has its own ensuite bathroom. Again, nice big shower compartment. And the VIP forward is equally full of these curves. You can see how there's a slight overhang on all the edges, just creates a little bit more floor space around the bed and a more interesting shape and variety of finishes and curves and radii. And it has its own ensuite bathroom too, as you'd hope for a VIP suite. So there you have it. That is our whistle-stop tour of the new Princess Y85 yacht.